What is the future of NBA on TNT, your show? I have zero idea. I, you know, it's, it's so it's interesting you asked me that question because I think today is the deadline. I don't know. Um, it's it's nerve wracking for everybody. Uh, it's very stressful, but I don't think anybody knows. Listen, I love TNT. I hope we keep it. I hope we keep it. I love TNT, but right now, I think uh, I talked to Ernie last. Uh, I talked to Ernie last night. I think they're going to make a decision by the end of the day. And I don't think any of us know what that decision is going to be. Now they have to match NBC's offer. Yes. But I don't think we know what's going to happen. But it's very stressful at work right now. But if the NBA goes away, are you a free agent? Yes. Is Shaq? I don't know their contract situations. But I made sure because we had a disagreement. We had a disagreement when I was redoing my deal two years ago about, well, what happens if we lose the NBA? And they're like, well, we don't know. And I said, well, what does that mean you don't know? And I want to put myself in the best possible scenario. And I said, I would like, I I said, I I, want to be a free agent if we lose to NBA and they said, they said, no way. I says, no, I said, no, there's going to be a way. And I said, I said, guys, I'm not signing a new contract unless I can be a free agent in two years. Now I want to make it clear. I love TNT. I love everybody at TNT and they've been great for me, but I don't want to be in, in limbo. If we lose the lose to NBA, that wouldn't be fair to me. Like there's no person watching this show right now want to be like i don't have a job and know what i can do i wanted to make i said i want to make it perfectly clear if y'all lose the nba i want to be a free agent so that's the so situation now and i can say that i hope we sign the nba i love tnt but it's nerve-wracking over here right now you guys got a lot of power though you and well, Shaq you- and kenny if you guys want to I know Ernie said uh, uh, publicly that he wants to stay at TNT. Well, we all want to stay at TNT. No, but but if the NBA leaves, Ernie said that he wants to stay at TNT. Well, I don't know how that – see, that's the thing, Dan. I, none of us know how that works. They don't need me, Kenny – and Ernie, because he does other sports. Yes. He, do, he does baseball uh, and things like that. But the, us other three, that's, that, that's a great question because – us other three are screwed, basically. Uh, not necessarily screwed, but we're, we we won't have a job. No, NBC would then just say, guys, come on over. Yeah, but I don't – see, I don't know how that works without Ernie, to be honest with you. And I can't speak for NBC. I don't know if they want all three of us. Uh, so I would think what, so. I would think so. Well, yeah. but like I say, our show won't be the same without Ernie. Ernie is the most important person on our show. Yep. So So – I don't – that's the thing that I wanted How to – How about Adam Lefko? Oh, I love Adam. Adam's great. There you go. We, we, but, I, but, but, hey, listen, I love Adam. But I can't be giving people jobs, Dan. <laughs> I, I yes, you I can. Do, yeah. Yes, I, I you can. can. Yeah. Like I say, uh, listen, I don't know what Kenny and Shaq – listen, see, that's the thing that's really scary about this whole scenario. I can't speak for Ernie – I can't speak for Ernie, Kenny, or Shaq. Yeah, do I want us to stay together? One hundred percent. But I can't say. Can you? No. Can you try to speak for Shaq? Let me hear how that sounds. Well, you know, Chuck. You know, if you want to, you know, we got to find a way to stay together. And you want to, we got to go to NBC or Amazon or blah blah blah. You know, but you know, Dan, it is. And, and first of all, I want to make this clear. I feel bad for the people at TNT. I feel bad for the people because if we lose the NBA, the people who've been great to me behind the scenes, you know. You know, we've merged, we've merged three times in the last five years, and we've fired hundreds of people, hundreds of people the last five years. And we like I said, we merged three times in the last five years. We fired hundreds of people. If if we lose the NBA, I can't imagine how bad it's gonna be at Turner. But I really hope we keep the NBA. But man, I, I will tell you, we've been talking about it. We because you know. 
this is the first time we haven't signed a deal during that exclusive window. We've always signed, it's, we've, it, it's never went out for open bidding, never. In my 24, I think it's my 24th year, every single year, we've always signed during the exclusive negotiating period. So it's very stressful over here right now.